Hello everyone and today we are gonna play Monster Hunter. So let's begin. Oh wait. What? What? Before we start, I'd like to show you that some of you are not subscribed to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so or else I'll come to your house and shove this trainer up your way. Understand me? Of course not. Okay, now let's begin. As you can see from here, when we st every time we start, it says detected incorrect value. And of course, sometimes you get angry and you want to throw your PC because this is the example. This is your for example, this is your best uh, saved data, game file. And it's, suddenly it becomes like this. Of course, you'll become very mad. And now, I'll show you the way how to overcome this. And you can download the trainer from my website. This is the latest one. You can download that from here. It's got download as well. Put in a download. And you can also download it from Nexus Mods Manual Download. Yeah, this is a requirement. Cheat Engine in, in WinRAR. If you haven't installed this yet, just click this link and it will directly put you to the main page. Alright, download that. Uh, slow download. Uh, if you wanna donate some coffee to me, do as you please. Donate some coffee. Okay, now let's extract the file. And uh, here. Okay. Extract it to the folder. Then just delete it. I'm not gonna need it anymore. And then. Use the trainer. And now, as you can see from here, every time we click it, it said detected incorrect value. So, if we activate the bypass incorrect value, let's click that and click that one again. You see, you'll be able to create online session and delete the incorrect value that you put in that file. So it, it will be fixed again. So what happens if we deactivate the bypass? We won't be able to play the save file. So now let's activate it again and play the game. Let's create. You might be wondering, how did I get this Afiji web? Well, I'll show you in a minute. And first, let's see the damage files or damage item in the game. So, do we have any damage weapon here? I think it's because of the Sapi Jiba weapon. Don't have here. Everything is working perfectly in here. So our damage file in this game is this. Because according to the game and the system of the game, we're not allowed to get a high, a master rank weapon. Uh, because you haven't finished the mission we are not allowed to have this if you haven't finished the mission so enable for us to, to get this weapon we have to finish the the, the game and kill Sapjuba in the event and unlock the event quests from the Sapjuba but basically we didn't, we didn't unlock it we just directly get an item and that's the cause of the incorrect value of the game. And now, 
we are gonna remove this item by going to another of the trainer now locate the game and then equip editor data editor and as you see as you can see here if we as you can see there let's equip other item first first thing we need to do is change this weapon value first we click and tab carefully oops before we change it, excuse me before we change the value I'd like to show you the monster hunter weapon some of these might not work if you haven't unlocked all of the missions but some of this probably will work will work perfectly but some of it none I don't know why don't ask me but yeah that's how it goes so long sword we're changing long sword apparently we're not allowed to use this codes so let's say I want to have a at least high rank below weapon or high rank weapon Hey, I want to have a Buster Blade 3, which is 15, okay? So we uh, locate the sword on the slots. And now what we're going to do is going to right click this, browse this memory region. And as you can see here, on the first very first page, this is where the code uh, injected or the value of the item is located. So now, let's not close this. If I equip other weapon, it will change the value. So now, but don't worry, this is... Uh, the moment we browse this memory region, it will only stick to the uh, equipment slot that you put. But it's a must to change the equipment data to see that... Uh, this become FA, become a null, because it, this is only located to the uh, to the slot that you pick in a, in a game. So this is still this, and now we want to change it to 15. Now if we go back from the game, change the weapon, look, look closely, as you can see, it becomes the value change. So if we go back to the this one bus is the the long sword called Buster Blade Tree, and this is what Iron Grace Tree. There's no Iron Grace Tree here, so this might be the the real idea of the weapon. So we get it perfectly. So now, for example, if you want to change another value of the weapon, you have to close this. For instance, uh, let's say I want to change uh, this weapon, so we're gonna click this, as you can see the value here are changing, and then we're going to right click, browse this memory region, just leave it for a moment, so this is the real value of that weapon, then, and then click it again, equip equip other slots and then go back to it and then uh, let's say great sword find that great sword switch house <coughs> where's the great sword long sword lance sword I think this is it This is great sword. Let's say I want to have a low rank weapon. Aqua Messer 1. 25. So let's put 25 in this offset. 25. It this bites. And then go back to this and then click this. As you can see. We get the correct weapon. 
get a correct value. Now if we go back from the data weapon, we get the aqua measure one. So this is the aqua measure one. All right. So so now the weapon spawner is, is quite complicated, but you'll get used to it. Okay. Now let's use this. But first, let's save the game before we use it. So now we can turn up the uh, bypass incorrect value. So if we go return to the title, save the game progress. Alright. Start the game again and then play this. As you can see, it's working perfectly. Now let's start from the fresh. Excuse me. Start the game. We won't be needing, it, needing this. You get the idea what weapon you want to spawn. Uh, honestly, there might be a problem for spawning this weapon. Because uh, the names are different in the codes, as you can see here, those are the real, uh, those are the real uh, value. I don't know how to explain that, but it's having a game value. I forgot that thing, but yeah, I just keep it simple. Weapon value, okay. So now if we start from the game and click this, you can now play it perfectly. You can now retrieve your old web, uh, old save slot. Your very best Monster Hunter web save data. You will now be able to retrieve it. So now let's use the trainer. And eventually, about the Zen endpoints, you can only use this once per session. And that is when you start the game, you should you should change the value of the Zen to the extended number that you want. For example, for instance, I would like to get uh, 10 million. One, two, three, one, two, three. And 10 million as well on the point. One, two, three, one, two, three. <clears throat> there we go because we can only use it once so why not use it first and then we, we can also change the weapon damage let's go back to the cheat Take a while. All right, and click melee. And we're using this. Let's let's equip other weapon first. And now it's located to this lot. Let's say uh, I want to get uh, three thousand. All right, now. The damage has been changed. Now let's say I'd like to change the armor as well. That's 50. I'd like to get uh, 5,000, so I won't die easily. And equip and equip. And as you can see here, we got 5,000 defense. And now you can just unequip this. Now if you have unlocked the other region of the game you can also get whatever monster you want to kill it's up to you you get idea okay all right and then let's say I want to get some good good item so go to the sell item 
let's say I'd like to get some really good, uh, really good, really really good uh, materials, which is chocolate. Let's say I want to get the rigid chocolate, and I want to have 500. Yeah, as you can see, it works. Actually, uh, it also worked from uh, equipment. Example, you want to you want this item uh, change the value to savage as weapon, and you are having problem about the dragolite. You can get the dragolite from there as well. And also, example, I want to have uh, more strong decoration. We can change also decoration. Example, I want to have dragon. Yes, dragon. And I don't have, so I don't have to swap. Mega potion, you get the idea. Okay, now let's say close this because we're done using that value value changing. Just save the game. And now we're ready to depart. We're going to expedition. So now, let's wait for game to load and we can equip. And we are ready to kill slay some badass monster. Once it's done, now we are ready to equip the trainer. Enable all the shit. Okay. Infinite item use. It might take a while to load, but uh, it's worth it. You see, break parts show all the monster. Oh, there we go. The monster has been shown in the map. If you don't have mantle. Let's say I wanna kill Jagras. So let's say some Jagras real easy. No. Easy peasy boys. <clears throat> easy peasy lemon squeezy. <clears throat> no, excuse me. There we go. Halo the baby. Time to die. There we go. One more hit. Should be good. Oh, he's dead. So that's it. I hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe. And let's reach that 1k subscriber. Actually, I'm planning to reach 20k subscriber. So, anyway, enjoy the game. Peace out. Stay safe, everyone. Peace.